still even are watching us right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's firstly uh, thank uh, Dr. Anwar and his colleagues for this great effort that they are doing. So this is really priceless. So it's every everything is here for you. Okay, just you just access to the internet, then you find everything is uh, available for you. Okay, uh, great. Please give him a harsh clap. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Anwar and his uh, colleagues. Uh, we're going to talk today uh, about something related to the thing that Mr. Uh, Dr. Anwar was speaking. So we're going to talk about education in general and in the, uh, in the coming days. How do you see the education in Sudan for the coming period? This will be our topic today. Because without education will be none, right? Will be nothing. So educate yourself to be something, something valuable for your community, for yourself firstly, then for your community. Then we're gonna build this country. Thank you so much. Um, good evening. Salam alaikum. Uh, first of all, in the name of God, the most merciful and the most compassionate. So I would like to welcome you to our English club discussion in Sudanese Researchers Initiative. So as teacher Walid mentioned that today's topic is about education. And I would like to start by, start by saying that the saying of uh, Nelson Mandela, when he said that, if you want to change any community, education is the only gun that you can use it to change your community. So let us start discussing the topic Education in Sudan during uh, Bashir period, uh, the advantages, the problems of education in Sudan uh, at that period, and our views about education in the new Sudan. So this is our topic today, and we would like to welcome all of you, and we would like to welcome online viewers too. So really thank you. Uh, welcome all of you here. My name is uh, Mr. Mu'attaz Abdel Gadir. And uh, we would like to thank Mr. An uh, Dr. Anwar for what he has said and for this Sudanese research initiatives. And what he did really is so amazing. And as my colleagues here has mentioned, they talked about the discussion today is about the education between the former government and what's our view in the coming government. And what is the rehabilitation and the change that can we make in our education to make our future brilliant and better. So we would like to hear firstly from all of you and before that we would like to hear from our friend here uh, to talk about himself and we can just start talking about this topic. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mahmoud uh, Sadiq. It's my first time here and uh, I'm very happy to be with you and I'm actually surprised of how far this location is. I would, I've been looking for it for, for quite a while. So as I understand this in the English uh, club kind of style, so like uh, it's more like learning how to speak and share knowledge. So no worries if you speak and stutter, we all learn from each other. Uh, so we're going to be talking about the importance of education and uh, the aspect I am looking at is the knowledge uh, uh, level of a, of a community or a country and its relationship with the political awareness and freedoms associated with that country. So if you notice, as the country, uh, the population of the country is more uh, knowledgeable or uh, the access of knowledge is, uh, of, of good knowledge, uh, accessible, and, uh, the pra uh, and the awareness of people is higher, uh, it is more likely to have a population which is less likely to be oppressed by government. So countries with less education, with less knowledge, with less care of the educational system, are more likely to be led by a dictator because if you don't care about education you don't care about the mind you know you, you're going the most of the population is just going to be led like uh, like cattle like sheep yeah so this is the importance of education in the sense of, of, of politics and the importance of education in, uh, e uh, in the economy is uh, it cannot be uh, overstated so uh, and the importance of, of uh, the, the country's ability to stand on its own in the different uh, in the different uh, 
different aspects of uh, engineering, of medicine, uh, of, of, uh, of, of buildings, of everything, of uh, uh, the, uh, the structures of the, of, the, of the country. You need people who have science, who have learned science, who have learned and know how to apply it. If you don't care about education, it's going to have a failed state in all levels. So uh, this is my, my, my views for, for education, and obviously uh, education is important. <laughs> you don't have to say that. So if you have, uh, how, how to pledge? Should I like share it on or should I share it with you? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, for the people who do not uh, know me, so because I didn't introduce myself firstly, so it's me, Walid Osman, okay? Um, I'm gonna ask you a, a, sec, a simple question. So here, we, uh, most of us here studied here in this beautiful country, but with corrected uh, system, right? So, what the thing that you hated most, okay, in education in Sudan? What the thing that you hated? You didn't like it, and you you, you wanted to be changed. Okay, so you studied here in Sudan, right? Most of you. So what the thing that you hated most, okay, and you wanted to be changed, the difficulty that you faced. You understand me? Yeah, chances are here. Welcome. A big applause for him. Well, uh, thank you very much indeed. Good evening, everybody. Uh, really, it is my pleasure to be in front of you. And now, uh, first of all, allow me to thank the chairman for giving me this nice opportunity. And um, really, as we know, education it is most important things. And uh, if you ask me individually, there is a lot of things in my mind that should be changed. Because uh, education, if 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 you want to uh, pick a place for yourself, you should have to educate yourself. If you would like to stand on your feet, you should have to educate yourself. That means education is the only way of self-sufficiency. If you would like to be a person enough, you should have to educate yourself. But by asking questions, what the things that I most hated in, or on my uh, personality, uh, I think the, the curriculum itself. So the curriculum of education, really, it is not well fitted the mind for Sudanese people. So as we know that since the 80 years up to right now, there's a lot of graduates, but they are still, they have nothing in their mind. They are only, you know, educate by saying of education. It is asymptote of education. It is asymptote of graduations. But in fact, there is no a good thing so as can, um, to get a benefit for, 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 for your education unless to educate yourself again. When you graduate from university, after that, you can educate yourself on talk or on what so-called, um, you know, self-thoughts. After you educate yourself, you can, uh, you can make a self-thought to get a benefit for certain things. So that's why I think uh, to make what so-called the re-establishment for uh, what so-called, um, for all the uh, institutes of education. Uh, either to be schools or universities or whatever, you should have to refound it again, and you should have to, you know, to bring in new curriculums for education, so as to be very great education. Because our certificate, it is not really, uh, you know, concerned outside. It is, it is equal nothing if you compare with other uh, certificates. That means we are still very weak in education. Uh, someone may graduate, but he will not practice everything. If you ask him, he has a handle with so-called certificates, uh, you know, top certificates, excellent certificates, but in fact, he has got nothing. This is due to the bad education and bad curriculum. And thank you very much, Andy. Yeah, thank, you. thank you so much. I'm, I'm having a question. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, you think that the, the problem is in the curriculum. So, how is that? What's about the curriculum and the, the problem that are there? Well, so we know that the problem in, in, in curriculum, if, you, if we ask about the teachers, teachers are well qualified enough, the old teachers. We, we have very good teachers. But in, in curriculum, we know that the Kizani system, they put something that let this, the, you know, the, 
the youth will not figure out a lot of things. They, they need them so as to leave them as a cattle. Because if they put them as something very nice things, they will be well qualified enough. But uh, most importantly, I would like to add something that, uh, for example, to link between uh, education and uh, practice of uh, what so-called the field that you are studying for. Uh, if you ask me individually, I was graduate for um, business management, okay? Business management, particularly, uh, I mean, school management science, and uh, I specialize for business management, owner degree, but up, up to graduate, I'm not into any uh, what so-called company, so as to know how people, they run business. It is very important things, you know, something to be touchable. But yes, we know that the, you are studying something, but in fact, you knew nothing about it. You have no background, just kind of theory. This it will not work. So you mean that it is not practical, right? Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Really, you you, you trigger, trigger very important points in what you've said about the curriculum. But my question to you is: um, sometimes we we think that we think that um, um, curriculum are okay. Sudanese curriculum is okay, but the problem is some teachers are not well trained. You've said that our teachers are well qualified. I agree with you, our teachers are qualified, but some of them, because words are progressing, right? Word is progressing, but still teachers are in their places. They are not qualified, they are qualified, but they haven't been trained so that to deal with change around the world. What's the response? Well, you are right. As I told you that there is an old teachers, they are very qualified teachers, but um, you know, new teachers, they are somehow, they are not well qualified because they need uh, what so-called practice or we need short courses. You see, we need to open a short courses, we need a great relationship with advanced countries so as to make them uh, some short courses. I, uh, you remind me something uh, before, maybe five five months ago when the American delegation they come to Sudan you remember that so they, they, they visit some universities even the teachers themselves they have no ability so as to talk to them so as to tell them that what they need they for example we need for any a teacher I mean university teachers to be well qualified but how could we can make them well qualified you should have to make a short courses even inside of Sudan or outside of Sudan to be inside or against or whatever uh, so as to you know to make them well educated enough so as to educate the new generation thank you thank you so much thank you uh, okay thank you very much just I would like to add some points uh, in the point of uh, curriculum by just uh, defining um, let's say uh, curriculum itself and uh, education so the purpose of education is to acquiring people uh, students with knowledge and skills this knowledge and skills will lead to him or her and contribute to the development of community but uh, let's uh, take a look at the students who uh, Sudanese student who graduate from Sudanese universities do they have this qualification knowledge and skills of course not. Um, I'm not going to generalize that, but uh, I want to say that some of the students are really well qualified, and that's not due to educational system, and that's due to their personal effort. And there is no comparison between, uh, for example, I, I would like to say that a Sudanese student who graduated from uh, uh, Sudan, Sudan, Sudanese universities uh, and somebody who graduated from American system uh, let's say education. There is no comparison between them. So that means in our curriculum there is some defection. Our, our curriculum um, maybe there is kind of uh, okay um, um, there is, they are not well designed. So when you want to come to design curriculum there is something called philosophy. What do you want? So you have to ask a very clear question. What do you want? And what are your goals? And that curriculum is designed based on philosophy. For example, um, what do you want a Sudanese, Sudanese person to be? And that will address a, a philosophy can, can take it from culture, Sudanese culture, Sudanese tradition, and even religions. That means you are going to address the question of diversity in Sudan. So when you address the question of diversity, you will have a very clear philosophy. 
what a type of a curriculum do you want to design? So after curriculum, you have aims and objectives of the curriculum, whether that curriculum in the basic school, secondary school, or universities. So our curric curriculums are based on just um, nonsense materials. For example, most of Sudanese, uh, let's say, materials in secondary schools and basic schools are exam-oriented. Just talking about exams. They're talking about uh, history of science instead of talking about real science. So this is the problem that we have. So what uh, they mentioned is the rigidity of the uh, curriculum. It is not updated frequently. And, uh, and, and, and that is a problem when you have a curriculum which is set 20, 30 years ago and you're still continuing with the same problems, not updating, not fixing. Uh, this makes a student not interested in the topics, nor the teacher interested in teaching in a proper, uh, interesting way and cares about the student uh, that much. Uh, standard, uh, evolving the educational material or the, or the sources of the material and making them uh, open, open source uh, for the public is important. For example, uh, I, I studied medicine and we have like over 30 univers medical universities in Sudan and varying levels. University of Khartoum considered the top uh, University of Medical Science and Technology, second after, and then goes all the private uh, universities that opened recently, which have a very low standard of education. So why don't we, I was thinking, like, why don't you just make a, like a YouTube for, for, for lectures? Uh, students of uh, University of Khartoum don't have to come all the way from, the, uh, from Soba, from Durman, to, get, to come for a lecture to hear things or see things which he could do at home. And the educational and the teacher and the staff could uh, just stay as supervisors uh, when the practical side is needed and continuous assessments using online uh, uh, feedback, continuous feedback, evolving the, the, the way education is put. Even for uh, students for the secondary, uh, like in junior, in, in secondary schools and junior schools, they evolving uh, the way of teaching is important, like using tablets, uh, technology. Uh, like a student doesn't have to come all the way to hear something he could hear at home. Things could change. Like here at home, do the homework at school. That's a more interesting, evolving thing that we should we could evolve the educational system in this country. Thank you so much, Gentilma. So once again, yeah. Okay, Gentilma, yeah? yeah. Remember my question, why? It's uh, a big love for this Mr. Mr. Muhammad Adam. A big love for him. Thank you. Uh, before I'm um, trying to comment about the question, I have just only one. Um, uh, seems to be fun, but it's as a story. Uh, the student is graduated and he's going to apply positions. Student interview has been asked questions. Are you male or female? He's saying that he's female, but at the same time he's male. Uh, you, you ask him what is distracting me in this country, what I'm uh, trying at least to enlighten my mind. One is very distracting point which is I dislike it in this country. The student certificate is in the market. Of course, you can pay this money, you will find the degree which you want in the market. This is distracting totally to me. And my effort, I'm struggling maybe seven, ten years to have this certificate, but simply someone can find in the market to pay this money. It's very distracting. We, we support not to speak about educations because our education is already totally devastated has collapsed there's nothing even to speak about what we are really right now doing is our effort is very self effort what we did even this uh ex regime get surprised you never believe that those only they can come up with this very light mind. it's our self effort we overcome all these difficulties and of course they get shocked um of course, there is nothing to speak. I, I asked some doctors, Sudanese doctors. You don't even differentiate between 
electricity and literacy. I was really shocked. How come you have become a doctor if you don't know how to differentiate between electricity and literacy? And we have to know that there is a problem which is totally affected. Uh, we have to start from zero, of course, zero. From coming um, government, we have to start zero because there is nothing to speak about totally due to this education. What we did is our effort, and those they put this policy, they want their their sons and their daughter, they study out, they are going to come and re ruling us. Well, they totally don't want you to rule them, and that's why they totally collapse this system of education, and there is nothing remains to speak of. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, this a lady there, okay. A lady there, okay? Because people ah. have been asking, what are the ladies? Yes, yes. And we've got a lady. Please uh, give, uh, give uh, her a big clap. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, so, uh, the most thing that I really hate in our uh, education system is uh, the. Uh, it, it doesn't make us uh, creative. It doesn't support us to be creative. But it, uh, I think it's uh, designed to make us just, uh, it aims to be the same uh, version of others. So they do not, uh, they do not uh, make us to be our own version. So another thing I, I, I think uh, it is important to to just look forward in our coming days or our coming years, it is to include the civic education in our system. So uh, that we really need it to just to build our new Sudan. Uh, another thing, as uh, Victor Anwar said, we need to uh, encourage the culture of uh, self-learning. So as we know nowadays, uh, it is easy to it is easy to be successful than to get further. So, uh, learning, uh, self-learning, it is so important to develop our self and develop our education. Thank you. Thank you so much. Twice, yes, yeah. It's a gentleman. Yeah. Welcome. Please give a heart love for him. Hurriya salamu adala. Madaniya Gyaar Shab. Madaniya Gyaar Shab. Peace, justice, and freedom. Peace, justice, and freedom. So uh, that's why we have this slogan uh, to change this system of uh, Al Bashir regime, and we are very grateful to have uh, gentlemen like you and a great minds, you know, suffering in the streets, suffering in different ways, and you know, look. We are still leading by stupid people. I'm very sorry to say this word, but they deserve. Like those, uh, Burhan, you know, I was listening today, he was talking about the problem of Palestinians. What about the problem of al uh, today? We are suffering. But let me be in uh, our easy education. Uh, we are very, you know, glad to change, you know, discipline around me because there's a, a lot of reasons we can change in our university. Four years I spent, you know, studying through the sheets, you know, sheets or papers, you know, 10 or 20 papers, you know, to get as a knowledge in my university. And not just only in my university, a different university. A lot of students, they spending studying through the sheets, not the books. And I asked one of the Chinese students, uh, he was studying in uh, our school, his brother was studying in China. They say that one year he used to uh, read more than 30 books. And we are used to study one year or one semester, two semesters, you know, 20 sheets. It's equal me, it's equal, you know, equal nothing what we are reading. So that's why now we are going to change, as Muhammad said, that we are going to start from zero. Because all the cardios, the good cardios, they are outside. They run outside because of lack of the problem that is facing. When I say cardios, mean that professors, a good professor. Although we have, but you know, if you see in one university, maybe you are going to have two or three doctors. 
Why? Because we are suffering. And the problems come from the regime of Bashir because a lot of professors and teachers, they don't get you know, a good enough salary because they have families to support them. But when the teacher go outside the Sudan, he gets more than dollars. And that's why this is a different, or if you balance, this is a different from the teacher in Sudan and teacher outside, or doctor in Sudan and doctor outside. And now, so we are going to change our, our education system. And the second point is curriculum. You know, in student certificate, we have more than uh, 14 subjects, isn't it? Or more than 15 subjects. What is that? Later, the student is going to compete. So what he or she is studying for. And then he's going to fall in two or three subjects. And you have problem if you don't succeed in Islamic subject or a fourth subject that is formal, so you are not going to enter in the university. I was asked, although I'm a teacher in Kibet International School, we have uh, foreign teachers in Rwanda. I asked, what about your education system? And they said they're totally different. Because here in our students from the secondary school or the intermediate school, they're going to study one subject, you know, one subject that is equivalent to the student. Until the graduate, he's going to have all the information about the subject. And then later he's going to be perfect for. But here we have accumulated, you know, curriculum. The student graduates and the mind is going to be completed. That's why our slogan that we are going to change from, you know, the tutorship to change the educational system to be Sudan for world. Not just only the education has been damaged through the Bashir regime, and also the a private school. I have some problem with the private school. So when Dr. General Dongara wants to be a president, he's going to say that I'm going to change the private school to be as a governmental school from the person who is in high class and the lower class, the student is going to be the same. So this is the way we're going to think about this. If you want to study or you are going to teach your child, you're supposed to, you know, to be equivalent, to be in the same school. So we are going to have a decent mindset to the student that in high class and low class. And then you are going to shine the map points of the specific country. And this is the one we are going to think about. It. When we take up our, you know, um, uh, ruling system from MTC to the uh, military and government. That is what we believe in. And we know that we are going to change our country. No education, no country to be changed unless to have professional teachers and doctors. And I hope that we will bring back our a good professor that are outside the country. I hope that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just one point I want to say it. Uh, in addition to the question that is asked by Mr. Walid, I would like to say that uh, in your point of view, uh, what is the percentage, the fair percentage of education, of the budget of the education that could be paid by government? We know that the former government used to just to make 2% of the budget of the government for education, and most of them they go to security and forces, right? So what do you think the, the fair budget that could be funded to the uh, education? Thank you. This will be for the question for all of you, okay? Uh, hello, everyone. I uh, really am very glad to be standing in front of you here. Uh, this is uh, my pleasure to have you here. Okay, uh, before I start answering the question, I'd like to give a uh, small joke. I don't consider it a joke, but uh, you know, like it, it didn't interested me. Uh, while I, I was home, and uh, my little sister was uh, in a week of uh, examination, and my father, you know, like keep asking him and telling him that go and read, go and study, because like without studying, you are going to fail. Okay, and uh, what he disliked, what he disliked about, uh, uh, my father said, uh, he came and claimed to me that. Uh, my brother, do you know what? My my father always ke keep claiming and asking me to study and to study and study more. Okay, uh, but what do I have to study in order to sit for exam? In the book which you have, 
uh, it's written that how I could wash my my clothes. You know, I know how to wash my clothes. Okay, and you keep asking me to read. You know, like how to wash my clothes in order to go and sit for example this, this is really this is really weird i, I can't study anymore because I, these things i know them see this is our curriculums they are really very weak they teach us something that is really it's uh, it's a culture that will be inherited from home it should not be in the curriculum <laughs> uh, that was uh, about the curriculum and really, when we start talking about education, I have massive to say. And the thing that I dislike more is the place of education itself. Whether it is, uh, yes, the environment. Uh, private education, uh, governmental education, all of them, they, I consider them as a place of investment. Really, they, they, they are not, you know, like coming to teach us or to give us or enlighten us for, for something good. What all they do is investment. First thing is a cafeteria inside, okay, a uniform, okay, I consider uniform is not really wanted in the schools because like, I consider us a matter of investing. They invest their money on the clothes, especially the private schools, okay, to bring the clothes from their pocket and then ask you to pay for the, for, for the clothes. Okay, I came here in order to get a knowledge, not to wear clothes. I got a, a lot of clothes at home. I, I can wear any one of them. It doesn't matter, okay, what I wear. But what matters is what I will gain from these schools. This is one of the problems. And why don't you, the private schools, as considered to be uh, good and excellent, why don't you call, call, uh, collaborate with the governmental schools and universities in order to have a city, okay, a school city, a school city that's big and wide and it's, you know, like, will be, will suit everyone, okay, and everything will be inside. If just only 10 schools, private schools, and 10 a governmental schools are being, okay, uh, combined together, if, if they've been combined together in one place, this will not only okay, it will it will bring all the teachers whether they are qualified or not qualified in the same place, and all the students will be in the same place as one, one of my brothers mentioned. And then, the, you know, only okay, the, the place is wide, so uh, the place is wide, okay, uh, the place will be. Uh, place for uh, for classes and then there will be a garden then there will be a stadium okay place for activities this will be more valuable than just having private schools that is really tight and close you know like even you don't you know you can't find a breeze you know like a chance to breathe okay it's smelly crowded and damaged it can, all of this i can say yeah yeah, exactly. Schools are not designed. And about the teachers, see outside, you know, a, a teacher who is going to teach a, in the private schools, if you don't have a master, you're not going to enter a, pri you know, a primary school. See, this is, you know, a prof if you don't have a master. But here, if you just get a, a student certificate, you're going to be a teacher. This is the big Morris. This is big matters. If we never change it, this will not evaluate. And according to the question has just been mentioned, that the, the pre uh, percentage should be okay, paid whether for uh, 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 which 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 institution uh, okay institution should be uh, paid more. I think the education should be paid 70 percent than the others because you know this is the main okay. Uh, the main base of a, of, a, of a country. If without education, the country will not go forward. And see, during the, the, the three decades, the, 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 the education and the system is just backward, not forward. Because of what? 
they pay for things that is not available. In considering them, by by having them, this will, you know, like, this will develop the country. But as Nelson Mandela said, education is the only powerful weapon that can change the world. Thank you very much. Before you go, there's a question over there. Yeah, welcome. I'm just asking, what's wrong with making education as investment? People do not go to Harvard or to art support without paying money. Okay, uh, it's really a wonderful question. Okay, the matter is here. Okay, no, it doesn't matter if you want to invest. Okay, but what matters? If you really give the student something very good, no problem. But you can, in, instead of giving, you know, giving knowledge for students, you just invest in them, and you don't care about, you know, whether they 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 they, they, they are uh, they are having education or not. They are uh, okay, understanding or not, okay, creative or not, okay. So investment, I know, investment uh, in all the uh, okay, if universities and schools are created for investment, according to your question, okay. And okay, okay, uh, and the whole world are investing in education. But what I mean it here, so they invest because they want to give something for for for, that, for others and get something. This, but here we don't have. Okay, we give and we never take. I hope I answer your question. Thank you so much. Uh, just a quick answer to your question is uh, there's nothing wrong with investing in uh, private uh, institutions. It's just what's wrong is what it, uh, it, it shows the opposition, the, the competition of the public sector would be. So there's nothing wrong with making a, a hospital private, but it shows why, uh, how bad the public sector is that makes you go to the private hospital. Same as the universities. If you have very excellent uh, public uh, universities, you won't have to pay a ridiculous amount of money for Oxford, uh, Oxford and Cambridge. Uh, so that's what... Thank you. I guess a good reply is the gentleman. Yeah, firstly, then we're going to go for you. Okay, please give uh, a pass lap for Mr. Adam. Uh, thank you very much indeed. It's really a pleasure to be here again. Um, uh, talking about uh, our educational system and education in Sudan is really very serious and it is a very big problem. Uh, uh, of course, when we want to talk about the, 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 the type of education that we had in the uh, former government, it is all problems from curriculum to environment to standard of teachers uh, to, to the funding. Uh, 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 all these were problems, and, and unfortunately, the education in Sudan was oriented. Uh, the, 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 the decision takers uh, in education they wanted uh, to shape uh, all the students, all the graduates, uh, to demand or to meet the special demands of of those who on power. So that's why they created inequality in our education, and they privatized the education, and they neglected the public sector. All these were problems. Uh, but uh, the real question that you have asked, uh, what should we do to have better education in New Sudan? Uh, 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 really, this government uh, put a very big burden on us, as generations of, 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 of New Sudan. Uh, first of all, we need to reform our uh, curriculum. Uh, we need this curriculum uh, to be inventive uh, in order to have the students with critical uh, thinking, not just the students of uh, copy and best. This is one. The second thing is the uh, type of books that we have. Uh, we need not to read the history of the knowledge. Instead, we need to have uh, 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 the updated knowledge, not the history of knowledge. The references we have, we need to put them for historians, not for those who are thinking what to do in the future. This is uh, two. Uh, thirdly, we need our educational system to be supported by technology. It is very important because people in the 21st century, uh, they, they talk about giving 
uh, uh, iPads or laptop to each student in a class. And even the number of students in class not to be more than uh, 20 or more than 40. But unfortunately, if you go to the, some marginal areas, you will get uh, in a class more than 130 uh, pupils in a one class. And even the class was not uh, built in a proper way. Um, that is really very shameful. Um, also, uh, we need to, uh, to, to make the environment of schools and universities uh, more attractive to pupils and to students. Uh, and, uh, more than that, uh, we need to, 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 to make education as a culture of citizens. Because uh, if you go to the rural areas, you get someone who is ready to take his son uh, to look after his animals or to guard the farms instead of sending him to, to school. This is a problem. So we need to fix it. And to fix this problem, you need uh, to have a massive awareness within your citizens uh, to understand that education is not uh, uh, something that to be neglected, but it has to be a culture for parents and a culture for citizens and a culture for the students to love going to, to school. Uh, more than that, um, uh, 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 also we need not to centralize education in, in just big cities. Uh, we need to pay attention to the citizens whom were nomads, to citizens whom were living in far-reaching network of, of, our, uh, of our country, like in remote areas. Because they are citizens, if they are not educated, uh, they will be a problem in the future. And, 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 and uh, I read a book uh, written by one of uh, Indian girl uh, who studied in, 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 in UK. Uh, the book was titled The Geek Nations. Uh, the, the book talks about how um, uh, developed countries, countries hoping to inspire the world, uh, 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 taking care and taking education seriously and funding the scientific research. Uh, we don't have this. So we need our funding to education to be more than anything else in, in a country, not to be uh, 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 as it was in the past because we were paying too much to secure uh, people who were in power. So that is really shameful. So generally, uh, I'm not an... Um, I'm not a, a teacher uh, of linguistics and politicians because I study politics. Uh, so the inequality that we have, for example, uh, having a school like high unity school and uh, in other corner of our town, the same town, you have uh, the schools that have uh, no classes. You see? Uh, so what does it mean? What kind of society that you are going to create? You are going to create imbalanced people. Uh, you will get from high unity school uh, a one who is going to be a leader of community in the future. And that who is coming from the back town is going to be a secretary or he's going to be a cleaner. So you need to give them an equal chance. This is very necessary. Um, really, we have many problems, so we need to, 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 to work hard in order to solve these problems. And, 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 and one last point would be active in order to work in the markets, to be productive, not to be consumers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, really, your point is outstanding, and I, I, I like each point that you mentioned. But still, I have a question to you. Um, we know that in our schools and university we have lack of tools. Uh, those, particularly those who studied uh, uh, in, in the practice, like they need something to practice what they have studied. Like uh, we have absent of these tools. So for new government, do you think that we need to pay much money or more money than we we used to pay so that to reform? the schools and universities in terms of having laboratories for example and things in order to help them to practice what they have studied uh, it is really very good uh, question uh, i think sometimes it is very difficult for an emerging country from problems to to, to solve all these problems we have not to have more or high expectations to our our, our, our our new students. Uh, we need to be very careful on this. Uh, and if you take the transitional period, it is very short. Uh, if you ask me personally how long it should take, it has 
uh, to be at least five years. Because in transitional periods, it is a national government. You could be able to solve many problems. But when you come to the, uh, uh, to the other term, because you, you would be arranging for, for elections, then you will let all things, all public issues to political parties. And political parties sometimes they try to play game of politics, so they are not going to pay attention to solve the national problems. So, uh, in, 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 in this case, because we don't have money, we have a financial problem, we have economic problem, and very serious problem, and our investment is very low, uh, the GDP is already stolen by people, up to now nobody knows uh, how much resources are stolen, and even the, 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 the money which were stolen, not frozen in international banks. So uh, these are problems. But you need to uh, to make an agreement with with with, you, with, with uh, some countries, foreign countries, uh, in order to get support. Uh, but also you need to pay attention. This support uh, not to be a support that tomorrow you will come and uh, break my neck. But uh, yes. Uh, for interest, I will give you as I take. Uh, we remember in 1972-73, European Union supported uh, the peace agreement between Sudan and the Anyanya II, I think. They formed the University of Juba, well equipped, well supported, uh, uh, as uh, an award to the peace. You see? So now we are moving in transitional period. I'm sure that many people from many countries will be able to support us. Just we need to have a, a good diplomatic mission. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Adam. And still, the, we have the same topic. We are talking about the education. And I think you have chosen this guy. Thank you. Before you came here, Jesse, uh, uh, I'd like to ask you a question for the people who are here and for the watchers. Okay, uh, the entire world uh, uh, is looking for the four C's. The four C's. We have C, 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 and C. Those are the most important C's in the world that the entire world is looking for. What are those four C's? This is a question for you. Beside the previous question, you can ask. You can answer this question. Okay, put it in mind. Yeah, gentlemen, welcome. Uh, good evening. Uh, first, um, I would like to say that uh, having such a uh, platform, like, you know, I mean, this um, foundation, I mean, the, that concerns like uh, students' researches, it's a platform where uh, people could, uh, you know, voice their ideas, people could change so many things, and uh, so it's a good thing to have such things. And back into the topic, which is uh, education, uh, I really think that, that um, education that does not change somebody's mind is not, or it's no longer education. Education that does not change, like, somebody's uh, behavior, it is not education. So, uh, if I try to to define, I mean, the, the education itself is a process. I mean, it's a kind of a process, um, a process of, of of teaching and training to improve uh, knowledge and skills. So, here the mission of education is started. I mean, t we have to ask ourselves whether, I mean, students, I mean, uh, get improved, I mean, the, the knowledge and their skills or not. If, if they're not getting, like, I mean, if they're not improving, then this is not education, it's something else. So we need to check, okay? And, you know, the, 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 the case of, of, of Sudan is really, uh, it's really different. Okay, it's really different. So, uh, I've been, you know, having like, uh, you know, like a point of education, like, uh, you know, I mean, I've been asking myself so many times, and even I also so many people about, you know, I mean, how's education become like worthless? Because I've seen so many, you know, 
graduates and you know doctors, those who hold like uh, you know bachelor degrees and you know PhD degrees, are, are not working. They are not you know adding something to these communities. They are not you know uh, they are not able to you know even add something. So they spent more than 17 or 16 years or you know even 20 years and they they're not, you know, having something, you know, in return. So as if this education is just kind of, you know, wasting time. And meanwhile, we've got like so many, I mean, uh, you know, doctors that studied here at uh, Sudanese universities. Now they're, they are like, you know, in the international list, for example, uh, after, you know, just like, uh, um, after a while, I mean, Dr. I mean, uh, Anwar was just speaking about, you know, um, the group of uh, serious researchers, I mean, the, you know, I mean, the supervisors. So they are exist in the international level. So they studied here at this university. So uh, there's something missed, but I don't know. There's something missed, okay? And in my personal opinion, I mean, the problem that we've got here in our country uh, concerning education, uh, I think first is I mean, the system of education. The system of education. You know, the land of education is not okay, by the way. Let's see, I mean, the basic school. Imagine that you put, I mean, a six-year child with a teenager and who is this? You know, he said like 14 or 15 years. So that's not logic actually. Psychologically, that this is going to create like a problem. So we start, I mean, you know, our students start, I mean, the, you know, the general physical education uh, by the problem. So we need to check, or we need to change this land of education. It is not, it is not really logic actually. And, you know, environment, it is not, I mean, uh, it is not good actually, but, and teachers, I know so many teachers that, 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 you know, that have been, that they've been teaching, I mean, you know, in universities and also schools, and they've got like more than 15 years, but I mean, the way that they teach is the same way, you know. They never developed. They never update their way of teaching. So I I believe that we've got like uh, we've got like um, qualified teachers, but um, maybe this is due to I mean the the, the, the policies of of or maybe the politics of this country that um, that mix between I mean the you know social services and political issues. So we find that graduates are just like, you know, circling in one circle. Okay? And then you find yourself that support is the same system, but you are not getting developed. You are not, you know, adding something to this uh, community. So, um, I mean, the, 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 the coming, I mean, the coming periods, I mean, the coming um, days, uh, I think um, you know, first we need to create like a very attractive environment. We need to to build uh, again the environment of of of, of you know uh, schools and universities, and also we need to have um, you know we need to check. I mean the teachers at the basic schools and secondary schools because this I mean. Uh, you know, I think this is the foundation of what of um, creating uh, generations or building up uh, good generations that can support. I mean, the the, the community later, and um, you know, all right. We need we need also to you know to uh, there's a gap. I mean, there's a gap between um, you know universities and uh, universities are what a market okay so we need to we need to link i mean you know we need to link uh, these universities and market because it is really necessary in terms of, it's really important in terms of of um, you know practicing and applying what you've studied actually
So I think we've got so many uh, problems here, but they could be yes, they could be solved actually. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, I would like to tell everyone here to be encouraged uh, to join the, the talk, the English club. Uh, I generally think that I am above the average, but when you hold the mic, these words just fly away. It's not like texting. There's no auto wording that you click and say, uh, say your proper sentence. So feel free if you want to join, if you want to talk. Uh, it's, we are here as a family, as friends. We learn from each other. It's a very nice experience. I am very happy that I am here, and I found out uh, this place uh, soon enough to to, get, to come and talk to you guys. Thank you so much. We are so happy about having you, and I think uh, someone is feeling free to speak. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, Ahmed. Wait, Rahim. Please give a half year for him. Uh, I would like to uh, thank you everybody, the teachers, for your time. I'm trying to be uh, quick because we are running out of time. Uh, it's a big, big topic today, the educational system in Sudan. So we are uh, just speaking our minds from our personal uh, experience uh, of uh, our education. So, uh, we speak about the percentage, uh, in my humble opinion, I think uh, education is a basic need for everybody, so uh, the percentage should be very, very, very high, that covers every family in Sudan, uh, could have very good uh, education and for free, that's my uh, humble opinion. Uh, the education is a system, so it's worked together as a human body part. So uh, we should uh, be innovative about it, change the, uh, the methodologies maybe, the stereotype methodology like the black door, the blackboard, uh, and the classes. So it's not it's not fun. It should be some fun place to visit and go. And you have to be excited to go to the school. Uh, some countries I hear they have no exams for the elementary schools. No exams, no need. It's just about evaluation your skills. So this is one point. Uh, one important point about the passion. So for me, I'm an engineer, engineer by uh, profession. But I didn't find my passion so far. I'm trying to change my uh, my field. So uh, maybe marketing, maybe something else. So uh, we have a problem in Sudan. If you came to the high school, you don't know your passion, but you have to decide whether it's like uh, medicine field or electrical field or engineering field or something else. So we have to uh, address our uh, we have to address our passion from the early beginning in the elementary school maybe and support uh, the, the families and support the students for that. Uh, technology technology should play a big big role in the education. Uh, we have example like Rwanda. They have a satellite now for uh, providing free internet just for the for the for the school for the educational system. So uh, another thing, the skills matter. I think education, is my, in my opinion, is very important, but now the skills now play a big role. I have a side uh, talk with an HR expert. She told me that uh, now we are able to have the, the people who have a very good uh, talent and very good skills, more than high uh, education or postgraduate education or big, uh, big uh, university. We need the skills more than the certificates or more than one, more the, the big uh, university. So uh, the skills matter, I think it's very, very important. And uh, the self-education as well. We have like a big example, like Khan University. Now uh, the internet and technology again play a big, big role in that. So uh, we should take care of the technology and uh, make the, the education free for everyone in Sudan. Uh, you know, uh, investment, someone asked about the investment, investment in the education. I think it's okay, uh, the investment, but the justice and equality is very important and the opportunity for everyone. That's very, very important. We should have free education for every family in Sudan. That's my humble opinion. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, because uh, the boss said that our time is over, we're gonna take only two chances. This gentleman and that teacher. 
Uh, I just want one point, I want to say it. Do you know that in Gulf countries, people are wishing, the teachers particularly, are wishing to teach at governmental schools. When they are appointed to teach at governmental schools, they just ask God, thank God for that. Not like here in Sudan. Here in Sudan, people work in private schools. The vice versa. That shows you that this government does not concern about uh, private school. And this is something so um, about the public school. And this is something, by the way, so, so, so bad. Yes, uh, now the chances for Mr. Hassan. Uh, first of all, hello, everybody here. So glad to join you today. Really, uh, really uh, uh, very nice job guys. Thank you. Thank you. I, want, I would like to encourage you to continue this uh, program and this club. Uh, so very quickly because we are running out of time. Uh, um, it, it was very nice the debate and uh, I totally agree with the theoretical part of this uh, uh, topic. But uh, I would like to know if you have some um, sta kind of statistic, statistic uh, about the amount of corruption in the educational system and uh, how it's measured. Uh, I would like also uh, to know, or you can just tell me, give me some examples uh, of the corruption in at the universities or schools or any other institu academic institu uh, institu institution. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. I think this is going to be uh, continuing, okay? We're going to open the chance to have all things that you've asked for, okay? Because education is something important and even one hour does not fit that way. A teacher, Mr. Yosef. Yeah, welcome. A big clap for this teacher. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, the people have already stated the problems. Uh, I don't know a lot of problems, although that I'm a teacher. But I started to hate my profession because of so many things. Okay, I'm going to propose a solution. First of all, teachers, yeah, they need good salaries, not high salaries. They need good salaries. But before that, they need recognition and respect. Because when you provide those two things, teachers will devote their time and effort to provide very good teaching quality. They are going to provide good teaching quality for the students. Uh, this is the first thing. The second thing, uh, when you are, when we are designing a curriculum, or for those expert teachers who, are, who will sit and design the curriculum for the civil government, I, my proposal or my my proposition for them is like to focus on the student, him or herself. This is the first thing. The second thing is it's not only a set of strands that are going to be covered by the end of the year. So first. Uh, We'd like to focus on the theoretical knowledge and also a set of skills that a student will gain throughout his educational journey. That's my point. Those are my points. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Marquez. You want to add something before we sum up because yeah, time is over. The guy here remind me of something, Mr. Yusuf. Uh, he said that, do you know, in some countries, they just take the child from different district, uh, district from different places regional places and they let him sit and they want to, to understand what is inside of the child's mind in this way the, the, the linguists can design a good curriculum because an adult man he doesn't know how to a child thinks right but a child knows how other child thinks so, so in some countries they bring children for example, in the age of 9, 10, and 7, and they just want to understand how does, does this child think. In this way, you can design a very good, updated curriculum that suits him. Thank you. When a teacher speaks, you should be listening. Right. So, you want to add something at the end? What happened to the four Cs? Ah, yeah, about well, the four Cs. So, the word is looking for four Cs. Number one, creativity. C, creativity. 
Number two, communication. How to communicate with each other. Number three, collaboration. How to help each other. And the last one is huh? cooperation. Cooperation. No, co cooperation is collaboration. Eh? Mutual respect. Huh? Mutual respect. C. C. No, it's C. 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 It's C. Someone, someone answered in the Facebook or live. No. The no. last one. What is it? Is that creativity, collaboration, communication, and the last one is the most important one. Huh? <laughs> okay. Something, something, something. Uh, it is in your mind. Something that you do it uh, a little bit close. Yeah. A little bit close. Try again. Uh, creativity, uh, yeah, I said creativity, but it is close to that. Huh? Thing. Huh? No, C, it's C. C, C. It starts with C. Patient. Huh? Patient. Huh? C, Okay. Change. Change. Yeah, try again, try again. Ha, huh, hurry up. Teach ya. What is it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Consideration. Curiosity. No. Uh, consideration. Huh? Consideration. Uh, creativity is on the, it comes from creativity, right? And you have said creativity. The last one, hurry up, hurry up! Wake up! Second letter. <laughs> I'm gonna say it, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, critical thinking. Okay. Give me a clap, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. So, uh, let me say something. I have a positive uh, and opposite idea for uh, Mr. Berman's idea. He said that the curriculum, it is not well designed. But believe me, it is well designed. But why? It is well designed to keep dominating us, to be illiterate, okay? It is well designed. It is not random. It is well designed to make us in, uh, illiterate and ignorant. So that's it. So, time is over. And once Abraham Lincoln once said, and I quote, the world will not know, no longer remember what we say here, but it can never forget what we did here. That this day shall not have died in vain. That this nation shall have a new birth of freedom and the government of the people, by the people, for the people. Send a prayer from there tomorrow at the same time. Thank you.